Reflections Auto Salon, 718 Curry's O'Canyon Road. Phone number is 575-802-3716. Today we're at a house, uh, it's facing the west, so that sun's really beating down in this uh, living room area, so they're wanting to block out as much heat and as much reflectivity as possible. So <clears throat> what we went ahead and went with was a 5% true view. It's going to look something like this, so they're going to see out, as you can see in here, this is what they're going to see looking out, and this is what people are going to see looking in. Kind of a bronze mirror reflective. This has to be used on double pane windows because this blocks out the heat. Any normal tent that's just dark, that doesn't have a reflectivity, tends to absorb heat. So when it absorbs heat, <clears throat> builds up a lot of heat inside the double pane windows causing the seals to possibly bust. <clears throat> so we don't want that. So we're gonna, true, we're gonna stick with uh, the true view, <clears throat> which blocks out all the refl <coughs> excuse me, reflects all the uh, sunlight and everything. Gives it a better coolness inside the house in the summer and keeps heat in it as well in the winter. So what we're working on now is this true view of this film right here. We're going to go ahead and we got our windows prepped already, already got them clean. As you see, we got a few done already over here. We got one done here at the bottom. Go ahead and pull our protective film off. There's a small layer of protective film. Glad we have a couple windows to work with because this can be where I can land my film on while I'm prepping the other window. Sticking, I like cutting my corners, kind of making them like an oval. <clears throat> if they're not cut like that, there's chances with them edges they could peel up. We definitely don't want that. So just kind of smooth up the film. Any big bubbles I like to get rid of before I start squeegeeing. You don't want to cause a crease or anything. <clears throat> Go at the middle to get my squeegee started. Then I'll move up and across. <clears throat> Less water in the film in between the film and the glass as possible, so I like pushing all my water out to the corners. This water, you don't want that water going back in between that film. To get in between the film. You don't want that either. Here. Just 
Squeeze you back down, get your excess moisture. I always use a hard car towards the end to get all your corners and stuff. Just go at an angle with it to release all that moisture in between that film and that glass. And there you have it. I'll be back with you momentarily as we finish up. There's quite a few more windows we're going to be working on, so... But we did want to show the difference. So they'll see a big difference once that sun starts coming down that mountain. These windows over here don't get any sunlight too much, so we're really just focusing on these which get a lot of the light <clears throat> during the evening hours. Got Dakota over there. He's cleaning windows, cleaning seals, making sure we don't have any dirt or debris in between the window tent and the glass because then that'll cause us to have to redo. Definitely don't want that. We'll be back momentarily, guys.